Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a new, completely new set of videos on WBPP. This is what I call the definitive guide to this script, which is super powerful, a powerful force and engine of PixInsight. I consider it extremely important that this be a community shared little bit of knowledge in understanding how this particular script works. So I have applied that principle previously. I hope you've had the opportunity to see some of the videos that I've made in the past about WBPP. I spent an inordinate amount of energy making those videos. There is one issue with the videos though that I did previously. Because the script has evolved through time and PixInsight has been changing rather dramatically as of recently, I've had to add new features and new updates um, to those sets of videos. So for anyone to be completely up to date on this uh, guide to WBPP, you would have to watch all of those videos and see the evolution of the script through time. So I'm changing that today. Now I am publishing an entirely new set of videos on the latest and greatest version of WBPP. And going forward, instead of just doing updates, I will create videos that highlight the new features uh, that are going to be uh, available in WBPP, as well as perhaps new techniques and things like that. Uh, but those videos that are independent of version, and I have a couple of those, like the uh, calibration videos where I explain about darks and biases, that's of course independent of uh, the script version. Another example might be uh, the adjustment of the pedestal. You can adjust the pedestal of data in order to compensate for certain kinds of problems that are especially uh, relevant to narrowband imaging. So those kinds of topics that I've already covered, those are going to remain in this set of videos, but the majority of the videos that I'm releasing now are completely new, and I don't believe this information is available elsewhere. In fact, I mean, I'm making this available totally for free. The reason is because I really want to help people, um, and I believe that this information should be just free and not monetized. So that's my principle in this particular case. Now, I am going to say that there is uh, something to the fact that I have much more information on my site at adamblockstudios.com, where I explain in much greater detail the art and science of image processing, of doing this uh, crazy thing of astrophotography. So there's much more information there. Just imagine, this is what I'm making available for free. Imagine what is available, of course, on my site. There are people that don't need to imagine. They have had the opportunity to see uh, the content that I make available. And the reviews, you can find them on my site, for example, uh, speak to exactly the quality and the amount of information that I make available. So I don't feel bad about making uh, this content free. It does take work, though, and I do want to be sure it is helpful. So please let me know in the comments whether you feel this series of videos really does cover what's necessary to make it the definitive guide of WBPP. And uh, otherwise, you know, let me know if you enjoy uh, what you're seeing as far as the kind of uh, presentation that I'm doing for this information. So with that in mind, I would encourage you to watch these videos in order. Um, I do have some logic in place where I build on some information because I'll mention something that you have might have already seen in some future video or something like that. So watching them in order I do think is helpful, but I'm going to try to keep an eye on making sure that the videos by their titles or content are accessible to answer very specific questions about how to configure the script or how to do a particular thing, maybe even how to solve a problem. So look for that as well when you look in the playlist of all the videos that are available. So thank you very much. Uh, many people who are going to watch this new set of videos are, have been very supportive of my work on the previous attempts at keeping up with this information. So I, I value that tremendously, and uh, I hope you enjoy this new set of information.